as a young swimmer growing up, I never imagined I would be in this position, but I really try to embrace the opportunities that I have, whether it's in my community or around the country, around the world, to try to inspire some young athletes or young adults to dream big, go for their goals, and to find the things that they're passionate about and be the best that they can be at those things. I'm really passionate about education. I just completed my degree at, at Stanford. I love speaking to young students about the importance of education. I work with Panasonic on a STEM program, encouraging young students to get involved in science, technology, engineering, and math. I'm also very passionate about learning to swim and making sure that as many young kids learn how to swim uh, as possible because the drowning rate is still way too high. Just try to help out in my community as much as I can. I visit children's hospitals quite a bit. It's great to just speak to young kids, answer their questions. Kids ask the best questions, and uh, I found that there's really a, a power to the gold medal can really light up a kid's face, and so if I can make a young kid smile on any given day, that's, that makes me smile, it makes me happy. When I went to my first Olympics at age 15, uh, I was just finishing my freshman year of high school. I did have a lot more opportunities to give back after going to the Olympics. I think one of my first visits back in, in Maryland after winning my first gold medal was to Walter Reed, which was right next door to my high school. And I met with the Wounded Warriors. I, I'll never forget the first person I ever put the gold medal you know, around somebody else's neck. It was a Wounded Warrior. And I've tried to put the gold medals around as many, many people's necks uh, as possible over the past 10 years. And I love the work that Athletes for Hope does. I think all athletes, uh, no matter the level that they're at, have the opportunity to give back and to help help others.